Hello, friends, family, and current residents. I'm Melissa Thresher, and I'm here at Garrison Beesbaden with my husband, Marco Thresher. And Marco is here with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Europe District, HUA. We are here enjoying time at home during this COVID-19 sheltering in place. It's not always easy, so we've had to make you know, adjustments and figure out ways to make it more entertaining. And I decided to start hosting my own quarantine cocktail hour. So every day about five, I make cocktails online for my friends and family. I ask them to send me recipes and if I try them and like them, after this situation is over, they'll be getting a prize from me. It's really been a lot of fun because I've been able to try drinks I've never tried before and expand, you know, my bar knowledge. And I really have a lot of fun researching the history of the drinks and finding out, you know, more about the places that they are famous for being from. It's been a lot of fun. I've done some special event cocktail quarantine hours and my favorite was the unicorn day and I made all kinds of unicorn inspired cocktails. I had a Star Wars Day cocktail hour. That was fun. Um, I had a Cinco de Mayo Quarantini cocktail hour. And probably one of my more fun ones was my Champagne Quarantini cocktail hour. And I have been known to dress up and I do decorate. It's a lot of fun. I started off hoping that this would make people smile. But honestly, I've been the one that's been cheered up the most by it. It's been a lot of fun. Trying to figure out a way to, you know, tell you about the history of drinks in an entertaining way has given me a little bit of purpose to my day when I'm getting a little bored. So that's been a lot of fun. So for this Stay at Home Chronicles contest, I'm giving you a short version of my program. And today I'm going to introduce you to a drink that is most famous in Mexico. It is called the Paloma. Now the Paloma, um, they, they're not really sure where it got its name from, but they think it's from the song La Paloma. Do you hear that playing in the background? It's, it means the dove. So this is the song and they think the drink was named after this by a bartender in Tequila, Mexico. So. I'm not sure how we'd ever verify it, but it is a tasty, refreshing drink. So when you drink this drink, you need to imagine yourself surrounded by warm sunshine and the fragrant smell of street tacos. And think about sitting in front of an outdoor cantina, enjoying this drink, sipping on it. So I'm going to tell you this recipe I like it most because it uses a lot of fresh ingredients and I am big on fresh ingredients. So the first thing I should start by telling you is we want to use a glass that we rim with salt. So I'm going to go ahead and use this glass because I like how it looks and it's pretty curvy. I'm going to rim it with salt and I don't know some people told me they didn't know this little tidbit but I take a lime just like this and then I have a bowl of salt which I use kosher salt and you're able to have your salt rim glass pretty simple and if you like you know, to have a little fun with your um, salt rimming. I sometimes add, you know, like tagine, or even you can use um, the zest from lemons or limes around it, and it looks very pretty. So, for this drink, I'm going to take my shaker and I'm going to add some ice. And then I'm going to add. 50 milliliters of tequila. And 
a lot of recipes actually use um, the metric system. So it's a good idea to have both the metric system and the English system when you're measuring things out ready for these drinks. Okay, so then I want 50 milliliters of freshly squeezed pink grapefruit. So I'm going to take some pink grapefruit. And I'll be honest with y'all, I'm not really a big fan of grapefruit. My husband loves it. I was going to cheat and use some grapefruit juice, but he drank it all, so I'm actually going to squeeze it the way I should have in the first place. So, freshly squeezed. And a little trick that I'll tell you about that works really well. When you want to get the most out of lemons and limes before you uh, squeeze them, a little trick is to put them in the microwave for about 15-20 seconds and they actually, you get a lot more juice out of them. I don't remember where I picked up that trick, but it works and I like it. Okay. Almost there folks, almost there. And honestly, if you don't want any uh, um, pieces of pulp in your juice, you should use a strainer, which I do not have my strainer sitting here at the moment. But there we go, 50 milliliters of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, okay? And now 15 milliliters of freshly squeezed lime juice. This is a pretty simple recipe. It's one of the more simple ones that I've done actually. Okay, so 15 milliliters of freshly squeezed lime. And then you want 15 milliliters of agave nectar which I like to use the raw. Oops, I guess I need to open this one. Yep, brand new jar. I forget that sometimes. So 15 milliliters. And you know, most of you can probably just eyeball stuff and put it in. But when I make a drink the first time, I really like to measure it precisely. So I get it exactly the way it's supposed to be. And then after, you know, making it that first time, then I just kind of eyeball it and do it myself. So now I'm gonna shake this up. And it's important that you get a good fit. And this is what I call bartender shake. And you always pray that you don't get any leak <laughs> okay and now I'm gonna pour this into my prepared glass and the last and key ingredient is a fresca this makes it very refreshing I'm gonna add that you can add as much or as little as you like I particularly love how pretty this drink is. The color is gorgeous. And of course, I'm very big on garnishing. You always want to garnish your glass and make it look pretty. I just like to do that because it, it makes the drink a little more special. And I'm going to garnish it with both some grapefruit and a lime just because I think those colors look pretty and another important thing that I really like to do is have a pretty straw which I get some of y'all don't like straws I just think they add a nice little touch to the drink and never forget a nice cocktail napkin and then voila a Paloma. 
that's yummy. Mm. I wish you were all here to drink it with me. Now at this point of my quarantine video, I would probably tell you a little story about how sheltering in place has been fun in my household. Different things keep happening, not always expected, but I will tell you some of this downtime has been nice family time for me. So that's how I'm surviving the COVID-19 sheltering in place. I'm making cocktails out of lemons. I hope you all stay safe, stay home, and see you at the tail end of this. Have a great rest of your day.